Hey, what's up guys? Nate Jones with Fieldcraft Survival. I'm one of the medical instructors. I've been an army medic for the last 13, 14 years. And one of the common questions I get in side of classes is what is better, the cat or the soft tee? What I want to talk about real quick is just a few of the, of the different differences and why people have their preferences. What's in general, the soft tee or the cat, it's Ford versus Chevy, it's Batman versus Superman. I've used the cat way through uh, through more of my career than I have the soft tee for a long time. I think that's because the iterations uh, of the cat were, were super good, it hasn't changed a whole lot. And now the soft tee has had the perfect uh, iterations done and a lot of the uh, great innovations made to it. So some of the biggest differences, right, is the cat is Velcro, the soft tee is not. Again, some people love that, some people, some people hate it. Super big difference between the two also is you look at the, the differences in windlasses. That's one of the most recognizable ones. The windlass on the cat is a little bit thicker, uh, a little bit uh, a little bit girthier. Some people might make the uh, the argument that it's easier to use and to spin versus the uh, the thin soft tee uh, windlass, which some people love because it's more compact and easier to carry and, and because it's metal, it's, it's super durable. The other thing is how fast do these tourniquets go from closed loop to open loop, right? This we have to thread through the buckle and for the soft tee wide, all we have to do is bend it back on itself and rotate it out. And that's how fast we go from open to closed loop, which to me is really the biggest differentiator between the two. Uh, in plenty of situations and circumstances, I think that I'd like to be able to use a gross motor movement and clip back in for, uh, for to go from open to closed loop. A lot of people stage their tourniquets based off of an arm. There's some people that stage their tourniquets in an open configuration because they want to be prepared and ready for a leg. It's not just about whether it's an arm or a leg. It's are you going to have even access uh, to, to the limb that you're trying to stop the bleeding on, which is another reason why being pinned inside of a vehicle, being able to go from a, an open loop into a closed loop is, is kind of a big deal. For the cat, we have to thread this in, th in through the buckle, which there's, there's a decent amount of space. Uh, it's it's not a crazy difficult thing to do, but in some of the right you know circumstances, if it's low light, if it's dark, uh, again, how much access you might have to the limb can can just make it more difficult. The other thing that this doesn't have is a pressure indicator. That's one of the big features now on these on these soft tees is this red triangle, which tells me when I have uh, adequate tension for that initial bite. If that's not tight, you're going to go to spin the windlass, and you're going to spin and spin and spin and spin because you didn't have the initial uh, pressure on, on the limb that, that you needed. So having that, that quick indicator to let me know that I'm, I'm tight before I start spinning the windlass is kind of a big deal. It's one of the most common reasons why I see people uh, not achieve hemostasis with the cat is because when they go to put it on, either because of position, you know, positioning or uh, sometimes they don't want to put it on as tight as they think that they need to, it's not adequate uh, with that initial, initial bite. Again, both of these are absolutely fantastic uh, tourniquets. I think that even though I've used this through through more of my career, I found myself packing uh, lots of bags with the with the soft tee. Being able to spin the windlass and then be able to adjust uh, some of these different points to retain the windlass is a, is a huge plus for me. And again, the fact that I can go from open to closed loop so fast, and the tension bar. Uh, on the soft tee is another big deal of when I throw that on there I don't have to worry about the tail as much because I have this this tension bar to stop it from from rolling back At the end of the day the best tourniquet is the one that you're trained on come to training Get that long form question and answer discussion get the coaching the mentoring that comes with someone who's watching over you who can, After you put a tourniquet on they can check it and tell you uh, What you did right what you, you know need to improve on or whatever the case may be. Hope this was helpful